In this lesson, we're going to take a look at racking the envy. It's a pretty straightforward process, but there are some important considerations. For starters, let's talk about placement in the rack. The envy runs pretty cool and quiet, and generally there's little need to leave space above and below the unit. However, if you have space to spare, it's ideal to leave one rack unit above and below, particularly below. This is because there are intake fans on the bottom. If you're not going to leave a gap under it, then we do recommend racking it above something that runs cool as opposed to placing it on top of, let's say, a hot amplifier. Also, you can choose between several different cooling modes in the MB menu. We'll get into that in an upcoming lesson. But generally, you'll want to put the MB into rack mode. If the rack is outside the room and noise isn't a concern, this is an ideal way to keep the equipment running nice and cool. Now that we've covered some of the basics, let's take a look at a rack installation. So you can see here this amazing rack from our Steam dealer Triphase Technologies. And you can see the Envy here racked in the middle of it. And you see here that you've got these four different mounting points where the rack ears go into the front grill of the rack. And so we'll take a little bit closer look at that now. And you can see here where these four points are. Let's take a look at how we get the rack ears onto the unit. So here's the MV as you're probably used to seeing it without any rack ears. Now, this is what it will look like once the rack ears are attached to each side. Before we move on to actually talking about how we get the rack ears on, let's just be mindful of a couple things on the bottom of the unit. First, there's this toggle switch. We've talked about this in past lessons. This controls the power light on the power switch. So this switch sticks out about one millimeter, a little less from the bottom of the unit. Now, there is plenty of room for clearance once it's racked. It won't rest on the equipment below it. However, it is possible, if you're not careful, to possibly catch that uh, part of the switch on the front lip of the gear below it, particularly when you're sliding out. Please don't ask me how I know this. So just be mindful as you're pulling it out of the rack in particular that if you feel it kind of catching a little bit, just lift up just slightly before you finish pulling it out. Also, we've talked before about the filter down here. This is a nylon mesh filter. So when you are putting the rack, uh, the unit into the rack, you're most likely going to have your hand underneath of it and pushing up. So just be mindful of your fingers so that they don't damage that mesh netting. Next up. Let's take a look at how we actually get the rack ears onto the side of the unit. So you see here we've got these four screws, okay? And so this is where the rack is going to go. So you simply remove those four screws, and then you put the rack ear right in that place, put those same four screws right back into where they were. Now let's take a look at the rack hardware itself. You can see the rack ears here, these four holes, are what go into the side of that unit we were just looking at using those same screws. Now, there's a couple bags of screws here in these photos. These are the screws for the rack rails, okay? So this is actually, these screws are what go into these four holes. Um, we do provide a fifth just in case you lose one. Now, you might be wondering what this extra bag of screws is all about. So these are the replacements. These are nine screws for the four that are on each side for a total of eight. You do not need to use these. Uh, it can be a little bit confusing because uh, you wonder why I have all these extra screws left over. These are simply spares just in case you happen to misplace or drop any screws where you can't get to them. Now, another thing to keep in mind, we covered this in a previous video, just remember that there is plastic protection over the front face of the rack ear. You can't see it from this angle. Just remember to take that off. And then finally, tying this all back together, back to our main view here, where you can see the MV in the rack with the four main screws through the front rails holding it into place. So we hope you enjoyed this lesson. Let's get on to the next one.